Comfort your Adam Lindsay Gordon the shore boat lies in the morning light, by the good ship ready for sailing. The skies are clear, and the dawn is bright, though the bar of the bay is flecked deep with white, and the wind is fitfully wailing. Near the tiller stands the priest, and the nightly ants over the quarter railing. There is time while the vessel tarries still, there is time while her shrouds are slack, there is time ere her sails to the west wind fill, or her tall masts vanish from town and from hill, or cleaves to her keel the track, there is time for confession to those who will, to those who may never come back. Sir Priest, you can shrive these men of mine, and, I pray you, shrive them fast, and shrive those hardy sons of the brine, captain and mates of the eglantine, and sailors before the mast. Then pledge me a cup of the cypress wine, for I fain would bury the past. And hast thou not to repent, my son? Dost thou scorn confession and shrift? Or thy sands from the glass of time shall run as there not undone that thou should saint have done, not done that thou should saint have left? The guiltiest soul may from guilt be won, and the stoniest heart may be cleft. Have my ears been closed to the prayer of the poor, or deaf to the cry of distress? Have I given little, and taken more? Have I brought a curse to the widow's door? Have I wronged thee the fatherless? Have I steeped thee my fingers in guiltless gore, that I must perforce confess? Have thy steps been guided by purity through the paths with wickedness rife? Hast thou never smitten thine enemy? Hast thou yielded not to the lust of the eye, and not to the pride of life? Hast thou passed ye all snares of pleasure by? Hast thou shunned ye all wrath and strife? Nay, Sirdes. A sinful life I've ye led, yet I've ye suffered, and lived in hope. I may suffer still, but my hope has fled, I've ye nothing now to hope or to dread, and with fate I can fairly cope. Where the water's closing over my head, I should scarcely catch at a rope. Dost suffer? Thy pain may be fraught with grace, since never by works alone we are saved. The penitent thief may trace the wealth of love in the Saviour's face to the Pharisee rarely shown. And the Magdalene's arms may yet embrace the foot of the Jasper throne. Sir Priest, a heavier doom I dree, for I feel no quickening pain, but a dull, Dumb wait when I bow my knee, and not with the words of the Pharisee, my heart eyes heavenward strain, where my dead darling prieth for me. Now, I what, she prieth in vain. Still I hear it over the battle s din, and over the festive cheer, so she pray thee with clasped thee hands, white and thin, the prayer of a soul absolved from sin, for a soul that is dark and drear, for the light of repentance bursting in and the flood of the blinding tear. Say, priest, when the saint must vainly plead, oh, how shall this interfere? I hold your comfort a broken reed. Let the withered branch for itself take heed, while the green shoots wait your care. I've e striven, though feebly, to grasp your creed, and I've e grappled my own despair. By the little within thee, good and brave, not wholly shattered, though shaken, by the soul that crieth beyond the grave, the love that he once in his mercy gave, in his mercy since retaken, I conjure thee, O oh, sinner, pardon crave, I implore thee, O oh, sleeper, waken, go to. Shall I lay my black soul bare to a vain, self-righteous man? In my sin, in my sorrow, you may not share. And yet could I meet with one who must bear the load of an equal ban, with him I might strive to blend one prayer, the wail of the publican. My son, I, too, am a withered bough, my place is to others given. Thou hast sinned, thee, thou sayest. I ask not how, for I, too, have sinned, thee, even as thou, and I, too, have feebly striven, and with thee I must bow, crying, shrive us now. Our Father which art in heaven.